welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making our sweet and sour stir fry. We're going to start with making it with rice. I've already added the three cups of water and one cup of rice. And we're going to add some of our new turmeric. Just about a teaspoon. that a really good stir. It gives it that nice yellowy gold color. Just like that. Next we're going to put our uh, lid of our multi-purpose steamer on top and we'll microwave it for about 20 minutes. I'll be right back. While we're waiting for that to cook, we're going to start making up our sauce for the sweet and sour. For that, we need to have a bowl. I'm going to just turn you down just a bit so you can see better. One can of pineapple chunks with the juice. I'm going to put this away before I spill it. As everybody knows, I'm constantly spilling all over my counter. Open up our package, add that into our pineapple. And give it a nice stir. That'll give it time, we're gonna set it aside and give it time for all the flavors to meld together. Next, we're going to take our one pound of chicken breasts. Turn it up a little bit. And we're going to cut them into chunks, bite sized chunks. I've got a fly flying around here. I am so glad that these knives came back in stock. The ceramic knives never uh, go dull. They cut through everything like a dream. And they've got that blunt end on them for people like me that like to poke their fingers. That one's just a little bit big still. Okay. Just wash my hands. slipped edges on them. We're going to add in a quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm not very prepared today, I'm afraid. Using our one cup prep bowls that have the markings right on them, a quarter cup, a half a cup, three quarters of a cup, and full is a cup. There we go. 
bowl. We put that into our bowl. Add our chicken. When you're pushing using our knives off a cutting board, always use the sharp edge up, never the sharp edge down. so the chicken is all covered. There, that helps make the chicken nice and crispy when you put it in the wok. And it'll thicken up the uh, juice from the pineapple. Okay, now I'm going to take you over to my stove so you can see what I'm doing. And everything around today. Just add some oil into the bottom of our wok. Let that heat for just a minute. And we'll use our saute spoon. I like these because of the little scoop on them. It's easier to uh, scoop things up when you're sauteing. Chicken in. Now the recipe calls for snap peas, which I don't happen to have today. So I'm going to add in our family favorites, which are mushrooms, peppers, and uh, onions. So we just have to cook that for, oh, six, seven minutes until it's all cooked right through. We definitely want our chicken cooked. Now, as you can see, I've already got our vegetables chopped up. I'll just leave that over there. And our pineapple and our seasoning mix is here. I'm just going to give that another good stir just to get the flavors all the way through. And we'll set that aside. had a, an enjoyable day out in this beautiful weather and you're not stuck indoors working. It's been very nice having that nice breeze here today, but we certainly could use some rain. Whoops, there I go slopping. That's pretty typical of me. Oh yes, I forgot. In our sauce with the pineapple, we need, needed to add two tablespoons of vinegar. That's all you see was my arm there, couldn't you? And two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, 
Oh, and there I go slopping all over again. It seems to be the story of my life. Okay, now we'll give it another good stir. Now the instructions on the back of the package call for white vinegar, but I far prefer using apple cider vinegar. I just like the different flavor that it gives.
now we're going to add in our pineapple and it's the juice with the seasoning. Nice sweet smell to it now. Oh yes. Then we're going to add in our vegetables. Smells nice. And we'll just let that simmer for just a little bit longer. Look how lovely that looks. our rice is ready. has got so many valuable benefits to it. Antibody or anti uh, anti-inflammatories. Just look at that. Okay. Smells even better. There, I'm just going to let that simmer just for a few more minutes and I will be back and show you a picture when it's all finished. <laughs> 